And to take this story further, we are being joined by Diego Sequeira from Caracas. He is a political analyst, journalist and a columnist. Thank you so much for joining us here on Vyond. Thank you. Mr. Sequeira, what do you make of the, thing, of the situation that Venezuela is currently in? Well, currently we are in a sort of, I dare say, sort of improvised uh, regime change attempt after the tour de force we had during the election fizzled out. So the examples of what you already reviewed tells us they need to keep the steam going some way or another, uh, and mostly based because there's no actual turmoil or, or major conflict going on in the streets of Caracas or any other Venezuelan city. So this kind of explains this situation we're, we're currently going through after, of course, uh, the United States and the powers that be are not happy with the electoral results of the, la of the last uh, 20, uh, July the 28th. Right, Mr. Sequeira, you say that they want the steam to be going. Does the United States have any vested interest in this? Well, absolutely. I mean, they always have. There are many reasons why they're interested in this. I mean, there's no secret that even from the earliest stages of the Bolivarian Revolution, I mean, I'm, I'm going back 25 years here, uh, especially after 20, 2001 onwards, uh, Venezuela has been an issue for the United States precisely because of not lining up with their own strategic interest or, to be more accurate, solely and exclusively under their own strategic interests. So that, this has been a continuum ever since. During the whole Chavez years, and it got intensified and worsened during the Maduro years, which are already reaching the 11 years and the third mandate. So it's in that context that this, all of this is going on. And of course, it has at least three obvious reasons. One of it, of course, it's the Venezuelan resources, yeah. uh, oil, gas, and rare earth. The other one, it's to discipline the population and to not set up an example of a possible alternative to the Washington consensus in our hemisphere. Right, Mr. Sequeira, I want to go back to a point you made uh, earlier that the streets of Caracas, nothing's really happening there. Uh, as a matter of fact, the opposition leader, Edmundo Gonzalez, who has claimed that he has won the elections this year, is on the run. And if I could also bring you some stats here, according to Gallup, 26% of Venezuelans say that he, they have confidence in elections honesty, 26%. 68% say that they are struggling to afford food in Venezuela. 54% say that they do not feel safe on the same streets that you say nothing is happening. What do you make of that then? Well, first of all, are they saving any third world country or city? I mean, you can, you can throw those stats anywhere else and it's going to say the same thing. Think about, for example, let's think about a very classic example. Think about Rwanda, which actually has a, a president that has over 30 years in power who just got an election of 99% and the streets aren't all also either safe in, the, in Kigali, for example. So what's the thing here? This is cherry, for, for sure this is cherry picking. And also, I don't know this, the precise standard, standards of Gallup. One thing is to say that there's no major turmoil in the streets and a very different one to say that everything is perfect, which of course it's not, and that's not what I try to say anyway. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna address Venezuela key issues currently. There are many, of course, uh, we have been dealing through, including a 11-year uh, sanctions program and each and every set of boycotts ever since. So in that sense, uh, of course, nothing is going to be perfect. We, the Venezuelan state is not allowed properly to actually manage itself and to, and to, and to take revenue of their own resources and of course, you're going to expect that. Now, from what date is this Gallup uh, poll? And why did it was above a 50% participation during elections? Just let me know how many, how many people particip are participating in the European elections. How many participate in France or Germany, for that matter? So it's, regardless of that perception, 60% of the Venezuelan voting population All voted right. in the last election. All right, Mr. Sequeira, thank you so much for joining us here on Vyond and getting us your insights. Thank you. For all the latest news, download the Vyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.